And, and you, you essentially have to report the amount of consideration given for the credit, too. And it's, it's a fairly simple process. But um, this has not been, um, it's a new, it's a new um, kind of mechanism for the state of North Dakota. Again, it's the only transferable credit. So it is kind of a, a new animal for us to tackle. But there are some other credits that are looking at becoming transferable in the state, too, the Angel Fund um, tax credit. There, there are some proposals to, to make that transferable as well. So, Is the state monitoring what credits are selling for? You know, how many cents on the dollar or anything like that? Um, kind of interesting. I don't know. I actually, because there are so few transfers that have taken place, I'm actually not able to disclose any of that just due to confidentiality, but we are, we're tracking it. But it's, it's still kind of a new tool, so it's not heavily utilized. If we were to get into selling that, is there anything that we can get assistance from on pricing it? Or, or I realize in an open forum like this, but... Well, it really would be a casual sale. Whatever the, whatever the seller would find appropriate, it could be you know, 50 cents on the dollar. It could be 90 or 10 cents on the dollar. And it can be um, any kind of in-kind consideration, too. It's really, a, it's really a private transaction that just has to get reported. We just need to know who actually ends up with the credit because if there ever ended up being an audit um, and the person that actually claimed the credit shouldn't have actually had that, we need to just be able to track that. But the, Actually, that's a good question, Bruce. It's really just a form that you fill out just to actually document the transaction. Some states do transferability where you actually earn a certificate. So the buyer and the seller need to have that paperwork in their file in case of an audit. That's it. Exactly. You would, just, you would just fill out that paperwork to the state tax department to document the transfer, um, who is the seller and who is the purchaser, and then uh, essentially we have that on file. So we know that the end purchaser was eligible to actually claim that credit. You're saying for, for the R&D? Yes. Um, if, if the activity isn't taking place, um, if the activity isn't taking place in North Dakota, they would not be able to receive. Well, if the activity is in North Dakota, but they are qualified. Well, if, they, if they're able to, if they're able to um, qualify as the, uh, underneath these parameters for selling the credit, then they, they could sell that, even if they're from out of state. But the key is, they wouldn't be able to earn the credit unless that activity takes place here. So as long as they, these are fairly restrictive qualifications for the seller. That's the one thing about this is that you have to be under that certain size, that $750,000, and you can't have claimed a credit before 2007. So. Um, the actual entity would be, yeah, the, it'd be at the pass-through level. That has to certify. Exactly. That has to certify. And then the seller, of course, obviously would be the, the sole proprietor, or the, the individual would then sell it. So that you could certify with us as the, the company itself would have to be certified, and then the, the owners could then transfer. Okay. I, don't, I, was gonna say, I don't know if, it, if it's the same here, but in Pennsylvania, for example, they, the credits, there's only about three. That's a good point in that if you do sell it, I mean, you may have a liability with the 15 year carry forward, you may have that liability in a few years and you could have actually received more benefit, but down the road, so it's tough to know. So again, this is a very interesting aspect of this and um, if you have any additional questions about this transferability, all my in contact information is at the end and um, I'd be happy to try answer any other questions about the credit. I did try to stay pretty high level, but I know there might be a lot of questions. Anything else? 
Well, thank you very much for having me here today. Um,